Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss one amazing AI tool. It's called Lovable AI. And we are going to use it to create a web scraping app without writing a single line of code. So if you are into AI automation, or you know you want to extract data from web, uh, you're an entrepreneur, you want to you know scale up your business, or somebody who just want to you know learn about this, then make sure you stick around. In this video, you're going to learn first uh, what is Lovable AI and how you can use it. Uh, second, we will create uh, a web scraper, uh, which will help you in scraping any kind of data from internet and help you in analysis. And finally, we'll uh, discuss some of the practical use cases uh, for this tool. Many viewers have been asking uh, about you know, creating some of the tools which can be used in real life and businesses. So we thought, like, you know, we'll discuss this web scraping tool this time. If you want us to build any tool for you on this channel, then please drop a comment. Uh, it can be something which is specific to your scenario, or maybe you're using some highly, uh, you know, costly paid tool and you want to make a tool of yourself to, you know, uh, reduce those costs, then feel free to drop a comment and we'll, we'll build that tool for you on this channel. <clears throat> now, one thing you'll notice with big, big businesses is that you know, almost always they either build their software themselves from scratch or they, you know, customize existing softwares to fit into their business processes. Uh, but unfortunately for small businesses uh, and startup, they don't have that kind of luxury. If they're not very technical, they have to, you know, adapt their processes to whatever SaaS tool is available in market. Uh, but not anymore uh, with uh, AI. Uh, and we'll show you how you can use Lovable AI to do this. Uh, you can create any software you want. Create something only for you in a matter of minutes. Uh, before building a tool, let's discuss what is Lovable AI. So Lovable AI is an AI-based platform uh, which can build you know, applications for you uh, by just you know, describing it and without writing a single piece of code. You just, you just provide some prompts or instruction and you know, AI will do all the work, generate code, and then you can deploy it uh, in production and start using it. Uh, now a little bit, I want to tell you about the web scraper and which specific use case we are going to uh, work this for. So today we will create a web scraper which can, uh, you know, go to Airbnb, put, um, you know, a city or a zip code, and then scrape uh, reviews from maybe initial top 10, 20 properties. And then uh, you can analyze this review or ask AI to analyze it. So that you get sentimental analysis of you know what people are looking for why they are you know uh, booking these properties what's good what's bad and if you are a real estate investor uh, this information may help you if you are looking to you know starting your own airbnb now this is one use case but you can use it for anything so if you are an e-commerce store uh, you can use this tool to extract uh, reviews from amazon uh, for different products and you know create new products or if you are a local business, you can extract reviews from Google uh, for, you know, your competition and analyze it and see uh, what people are liking, what people are not. So, you know, uh, possibilities are in endless. You can create any kind of web scraper and scrape news, data and analyze them. So uh, let's get into it and start building this. So let's look for Lovable AI. So this is where you land, like, you know, idea to app in seconds. Um, so, you know, this is kind of an AI platform for creating different applications. Now, uh, I have already logged in uh, to this one, but if you have not, then, you know, you can create a quick profile uh, and get started with this. Now, uh, whenever you're creating something, right, I suggest that you provide detailed prompts uh, to the application, what you're trying to do and achieve. Um, in many cases, right, uh, people start with giving just a one line prompt and then they keep editing and improving it over time. Uh, but unfortunately, when you do that, it may create, you know, a lot of uh, junk code or, you know, ha have things which may not be needed and later it becomes really complex. So let's provide our uh, prompt to this uh, application. This is a prompt uh, I've created that, you know, we'll be creating an app to scrape data from Airbnb, basically Airbnb reviews. 
currently we are saying that you know first 10 listing uh, us scrape later you can increase it if you want uh, and we also want option to download data as an excel okay. so let's hit enter and you know let it do its magic uh, it'll take few minutes and um, you'll have you have your app ready So as you can see, like, you know, uh, it is building app, creating code on right side. Uh, on left side, it is giving us, you know, some more uh, detail from what it is doing. It has created a tool. So let's, uh, you know, uh, try it out. So I'm providing it, a, you know, a name of a city and state. And then let's hit search reviews. And voila, yes, it has done it. So what it has done is like, you know, uh, it has extracted reviews um, from like, you know, multi top 10 properties and you can download it as an Excel also. So if I click here, it's done. And, you know, we can check it out. Okay, so yes, so it has, you know, scraped the data uh, as we expected and uh, we have, you know, pretty much everything you want, we want. And as I suggested, right, same thing you can do for any business you want or any other data you want to scrape from internet, right? And this kind of application will be ready in a second. Now, another thing which we can do is like we can ask it to summarize these review and provide a summary that, hey, why people are booking uh, what are they liking? What are they not liking? So let's add that uh, prompt also. So here I have provided additional comment that, you know, uh, we want to, to go through the reviews and summarize um, so that, you know, we don't have to do it ourselves. So now if you see like, you know, it, it is summarizing also reviews that, okay, what people are liking, what people don't like. Currently it doesn't have a lot of negative thing, but uh, it is able to do sentimental analysis also. So this way, you, you know, you can keep going and uh, adding more functionalities uh, to your tool. Now, another thing which you may want to do is to, you know, store some of the data in a database. So in order to store, uh, what you can do is one of the easiest way I found is like uh, this uh, tool called Superbase. Uh, it is available and it, it provides a very easy integration uh, with Lovable. So first, what you can do is you can create an account uh, with Superbase. And once you have created that account, uh, you can come here, uh, you know, link your account, click on it. And, you know, I have already uh, linked my account, but you can link it. And once you have linked, then you can uh, ask Lovable to uh, add functionality where you can save the data and it will get saved in Superbase. Told lovable is that you know, can you save name of city, zip, whatever uh, input user is making? Uh, let's add it in a database and it is persistent. Um, so that, like, you know, later I can analyze okay, what people are generally looking for, which cities are hot or whatever, right? And, um, or maybe people we can share it with them that okay, this is what uh, folks are looking for. So when we did that, like, you know, um, lovable, it connected with Superways. Uh, it created tables like it first it created command and asked you like okay are you ready uh, are you good with this and and we said yes then it created table in superbase and basically it uh, created this functionality where uh, it is saving database also and then now when we we search here uh, it is kind of say saving these searches and showing us results here and uh, if you go to the this superbase uh, database and look for the search history yeah so you'll see these things they are they are getting stored so you know name of city or um, zip whatever you're searching right so you will have this database
So as you can see, right, I mean, um, very easily you can create uh, projects uh, or web apps in, in matter of few minutes. You don't have to go buy a new software or figure out how you'll do, or even I think it's better than AI agent instead of you working with AI agents and combining uh, multiple tools to achieve something, right? Just tell Lovable or, you know, tools like these AI um, web creators that, okay, what you want and your app will be ready uh, in a matter of seconds. Um, so I hope you were able to learn something through this and you found it valuable. Uh, if there's anything else you want us to discuss, then please let us know. Um, you can leave a comment below and um, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and see you next time.